what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the H1Z1 uh, We're trying to survive, we're gonna continue surviving um, When we last left off, I got chased out of the city And now I'm back, um, I'm in this little shack that I stopped off in So I'm gonna investigate the shack and then see we got We already got some good stuff I'm gonna shred this t-shirt, grab this navy shirt Some darker colors that way, you know, people can't People can't see us when we running around The goal for this video is really just to not only get established and get materials, but I want to be a little more aggressive because I feel like the way I've been going about this game, I've just been being extremely passive. Now, I'm a passive person. If I was in a zombie apocalypse, I'd be very passive. I wouldn't really try to harm people unless they were trying to harm me. Ooh, sliced carrots! But I gotta play, I gotta play a little, oh my gosh, look at all this food in here. I need a backpack ASAP. But I'm, I'm not the type of person to just run up on you and start swinging on you. I wouldn't do that in real life. Why would I do that in this game? So um, I'm going to play a little bit more aggressive. The conversations I'm going to have with people are going to be a little more a little more aggressive. So please bear with me. The whole time I've been playing, the loot drops have been very terrible. So they actually updated the game and put lots of more lots more loot in the game. So now I'm able to find more items and find more loot and whatnot. It's completely nighttime out here. I'm terrified. Backpack is what we need. We need a backpack! Oh, snap. Beef chunks and ground coffee. Son! Is that a... Is that a bear? What the heck is that? I hear something making noise. Oh! There we go! Found a backpack! Dumb in my backpack! Dumb in my backpack! SpongeBob, X-Men, Spider-Man, backpack! That's what must ash that. Freaking zombie, sit down. Sit down, you freaking zan. Zombies also drop stuff as well, so um, there are plenty of goods to be had out here. On my path to find something, I found this uh, this settlement off here in the distance. So we're gonna go check this out, uh, see what kind of encounters we get into with some people. Hopefully, there are some friendlies over here. But like I said earlier, man, it's going with down. Bang. Can I put a backpack in a backpack? Backception. <laughs> Gotta scoop up all the berries we can. Is this a camp? What is this? Did somebody build this? Uh, yeah, they got punji sticks out here. It's probably not the best thing to go in here, but you know, check it out. This is like somebody's house. This is the this would be the perfect place to set a to set a base. Like, what is this? All right, so we're gonna investigate this little uh, settlement now. I guess this is a farm. You can cr craft a farm and whatnot. Dang, there is so much food in here. I'm about to eat tonight! Mm. Ooh, a compass! Let's go! We got a compass! We got a north, south, east, well. Some scrap metal. Yo, there's a freaking cage here? Mom's pink salmon. Y'all are dirty. Mom's chunk tuna in water. Bruh. This is like, this is like a, the perfect settlement. This is the perfect freaking base. And we got freaking a water well? Yo! We have just found our base. We have just we have just found our safe spot. And there's no mountains around us, so nobody can snipe us in here. Let's go! I there's like too much food. Like I've never I've never played this game and been like, oh, there's too much food, I can't carry it all. Hey, we got a campfire. We got a Alright, so now since we got our base and this is uh East uh we're east, northeast. Um, we're gonna go we're gonna go scout and look around outside of the base just to see kind of like what we're dealing with outside of here We pretty much there's pretty much nothing out here aside from zombies Which can catch this work Arrow to the head boy say no dying light. I'll tell you all that <sighs> So we're gonna follow these power lines and hopefully we run into somebody that can help us or or go against us either way i'm trying to have some human interaction so two things i want to find also i want to find a firearm and i want to find some sort a of axe that way i can chop down trees and ask you a question um i just found something in investigating this house it's called hy hyperferon an antiviral drug designed to inhibit the development of specific viruses it is rumored that this drug was intended to combat the h1z1 virus wow do we have the h1z1 cure right now hold up Hold the phone, um, yo, that's crazy. I, f I think we found the, f the cure to H1Z1. Oh, there it is. All right, if it was out there chasing a deer, I thought it was chasing me, it scared the crap out of me. What we got over here in the distance is a bit of a, a standoff between a wolf and a zombie. 
Let's see who wins this battle. <laughs> Let me relax. <laughs> All right, so we have an update on the wolf situation. He is licking the ass of a deer. Um, this is a very rare sighting. Only on occasion do you see this in the wildlife anywhere else in the world. So this is a rare occasion. He has finished licking the deer's ass. What's gonna happen now? Are they mates? Are they friends? Oh shit. What's going on everybody? I'm currently recording an episode of H1Z1. It's recording right now actually. I had to take a break because I've been playing for like three hours and nothing has ever freaking happened with it. Nothing has ever freaking happened with it. All right, uh, welcome back. So I have been running for probably about a half an hour now. Finally found uh, some civilization. So we're gonna go investigate the city. We can take a trip to the city. It might go good, it might go bad. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we run into some friendlies and not some uh, some mean people. Not nice to be mean. If things start to pop off or I die, that's it for me, man. I don't know if there's gonna be another H1Z1 episode. <laughs> All right, we're rolling through. Here we go. Here's a church. This is usually the hot spot in the middle of the town. Let's investigate. Is there really nobody in the church? Hello? Anybody? Empty water bottle. A nice loot chest and there's a freaking empty water bottle. Get out of my face. I got a lot of pistol rounds. If only I could, oh my goodness. If only I could find a pistol. Oh man, Ranch Ranchito Taquito. All right, we're gonna investigate the supermarket. Hopefully there's nobody hiding out in here. Well, hopefully there is because I'm freaking lonely as crap. Hello? Anybody in the supermarket? Some mandarin oranges. More freaking rounds. And we found a pistol. Let's get it. Nice. Found a pistol. Plenty of rounds. Let's do it. That's what I was freaking looking for this whole time, man. So I got a pistol. Now I just gotta find some sort of uh, fire axe or something that I can chop trees down with. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching this episode of H1Z1. I'm gonna call it a part right there because we got one ingredient that we need to survive. We got the pistol and we got plenty of freaking rounds. So I'm very happy about that. For the next episode of H1Z1, we're gonna go find a fire axe so I can chop trees down just so I can go back out to my base and thrive. So I'm gonna get a fire axe, chop some trees down, you know what I'm saying? So come back to the next episode where we scavenge through the city and try to find a fire axe. But um. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, I just hit the <laughs> like button. Ooh, you like that? Uh, <laughs> you guys all stay radical, and I'll see you all on the next episode of H1C1 Baby Tech Mom.